Everything's gonna be fine Me, myself, and wine So you think you know wine? Well, maybe you do, but I bet our experts will beat you. You can't even taste the wine, so how would you even compete? It's sad. Anyway, I'm Sean Cullen. This is So You Think You Know Wine, and this is table number six in our competition. And we have uh, two Zabos. We have Zoltan, and we have John. Unrelated, yet they are we friends. Think. Yeah. We think. Yeah. Well, we're you might sure. be. We, you don't you know, know. You might be sisters. Depends on how far you have no back idea. in time you go. <laughs> And we have Sarah D'Amato, who's not related in any way to either of these people. But would like to be. Right? All right, it's time to try our wine. It's been interesting, these things. Oh, thank you for lifting Please. it to yes, my hand. Yes, yeah. You looked like you wanted you know, to pour that. that I'm having a part. tennis elbow situation. Here, let's go with uh, John. And now, Sarah. It's pretty Zoltan. obvious from the color, wouldn't you say, Zoli? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, that's what they all say. Although my logic works much better, uh, you know, once we see the label. That's best. Yeah. <laughs> I've decided yeah. not it's to jump to It's great to reverse engineer your opinion. I'm getting it. Well, well, well. Soft, fruity, a little bit sweet. No, it's a little bit very of, sweet. A little Some bit spicy. Of sugar there. Woodsy Wood. aromas. Woodsy. And some, some very neat, like, not purple, but resinous, resinous mm -hmm. nuance. Are you thinking volcanic, Sarah? <laughs> you were thinking I'm trying to, I'm trying to throw you. Trying to throw mislead us. It's a strategy now to confuse your opponents. Who feels confident that they can go and take the first stab? Well, I'm thinking Pinot Noir. And I'm thinking it's from the New World. <clears throat> Watch me leap into this one again. Oh. Um, <clears throat> and because uh, it's fairly modern, I can um, smell French explorer <laughs> in there. I might say that it's uh, from the U.S. Okay, you might say that, yes. but are you going well, to? Well, I'm going to say it. Yes. Okay, I'm committing here. Okay. Um, Pinot Noir from. I'd say it's more California because of the the sweetness of it. Where else could it come from in the U.S.? It could come from Oregon. Right. True. Yeah. Could be from Sonoma. All right. I don't think that it's that it's any deeper than that. So we'll say California, so uh, Pinot Noir, sorry, from um, 2000 and 2012. All right. And what do you what, what would you pay for this? I would say somewhere in the low 20s. So um, let's say say 21 dollars. Twenty one dollars. I'm gonna go with John next. John. All right. You were of two well, minds. For Which mind? Door. Well, uh, looking at the color, I was thinking either Pinot or possibly Italian, Sangiovese. Mm -hmm. Palish color starting to move a little bit towards garnet, you know, not uh, not vibrant blue, but more reddish brown. However, um, tannins are a little too soft, it's a little too polished, a little too cherry fruit, so uh, I, I think it's Pinot Noir as well. I think, uh, I think it's Southern Hemisphere. I'm going to go to Australia. I think it's from a cool region <laughs> in Australia. Cool I region. think uh, South Australia. Oh, sorry, uh, Victoria area, right? Uh, Yarra Valley. So I'm going to say um, um, twenty-seven ninety-five. Twenty-seven ninety-five. It's a Price Is Right situation here. So now it's Zoltan. Yeah, I'm saying very similar things. Actually, I know I'm going last, and uh, you know that's you, you know gives all their ideas. Yeah, but I was in initially initially from the very get go. You know, in the southern hemisphere, Pinot Noir, young. California, Australia, sounds right. Do we conclude or? Yeah, well, you have we, to make a <laughs> choice. Or we, or we speculate. This is the beauty of this can show. We, can we speculate a little longer? But yes, young, young, fair amount of alcohol here. You I'm going to leave it a 2011 All vintage right. Southern Hemisphere. I'll call it um, Australia myself because it's a uh, you know, little bit less body and everything that I would expect from a Californian Pinot Noir. Um, I leave it at Victoria, just as a generic, nice Gen larger oh, area. Generic. And, yes. and uh, 2011, what the price point for the this? price, uh, not, not, not cheap, twenty-five ninety-five. All right. Yeah. So we I have think, our... I think I missed a vintage. Did, did I get you? a vintage? Did you get a vintage I yet? Didn't, I didn't. Uh, I think it's 2012. 2012, just to be that way. Yes, yes. Oh boy, this is always fun, the reveal. So we had a number of different Pinot Noirs, but from where? 
That's the key, I think, for this. And uh, so, let's take a look. Oh, 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 it is Gnarly uh -huh. Head uh -huh. Pinot Noir. Unbelievable. And uh, Sarah gives a quiet tomato. yes from Sarah <laughs> because she nailed it. What, uh, so the, what would be the difference between like a, an Australian Pinot Noir and a, why did that, was well, that misleading? A lot of similarities, I think. Well, this is, you know, fairly soft, easy drinking, slightly sweet. You know, good, good, friendly wine. As we said, not terribly complex. So at that point, it's more about the variety than it is about the specific region. I think, a sunny place. I think the winemaking masks a little bit the location where it's where it originates from. That yeah, happens a lot. Yeah, especially is that with what's the, happening with this? The world of flying winemakers. That flying uh, winemakers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what's a flying winemaker? Better than a they have a zeppelin yeah. and they grow their what? Well, it's a winemaking consultant, somebody who comes from a particular place in the world, oh, perhaps and makes wines, and then then moves around to different areas and wineries. And so his that technique or her technique ends up being used in a lot of different places. Well, it's right. a criticism you, you, of you, some. You bring yes. the recipe along. With you. Well, and uh, now we've got uh, Sarah, came away with that. Came away from that one with nine points. Almost perfect. Nine oh, points, sure. whoa. So, uh, and then uh, John came in second with five points. Still hey. nice, respectable. Doing, doing one point better than the previous one. Half the points. <laughs> and Zoltan, four points. Very nice. Four points, still. All got Pinot Noir, all got New World, but it was where in the New it's World? Tricky. There you go. Thank you for tuning in here. Uh, if you tune in still with a tiny knob and do that, you should get a new TV or maybe a computer to watch this <laughs> on. <laughs> anyway, I'm Sean Cullen. Thanks for watching. That was table six of So You Think You Know Wine. Me, myself, and wine. Ooh, me, myself, and wine. Self and wine.